Uh, I have a lot of viruses on my computer, and it's been running really slowly. I, I need help really badly. I'm sorry? Are you getting any message or any pop-up or what you're having on your screen? Can you let me know that? A lot of pop-up ads. A lot of those. Okay, and you know like what you were doing on your computer at the time you got those pop-ups on your computer? I, I downloaded something. I did. I'm not sure what it was though, but I did download something. Oh, okay. Do you have information? Sure. Okay, alright. So, I mean, like, which Windows you're having? Is Windows 7, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10? Uh, Windows 7. Windows 7. Okay, alright. And they have your name so that I can address you better. Um, Charles. Two oh one. Seven eight eight. No, no, I'm sorry. I mean, si I mean six six nine. Okay, two oh one. Six six nine. Six six nine. Seven three seven four. Okay. Focus on your keyboard. On your keyboard on the left hand side in the very bottom you have a Windows key. Yes. And a flash on it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Press it down and hold it and then at the same time click on the letter R. Yeah, I did that. And then what do you have on your screen? Do you find a run box? Yes, I do. So is that open line, is it blank or do it written something? It's blank. It's blank. Okay. So do me a favor, Charles, and type there. Yeah. I a... Now, you got like there, I explore space, a small dash, EXT, OFF, space, www.pchelp. One yeah, I entered it. I'm there. I'm there. Okay, do I click on OK? I did. And then what do you have on your screen? Let me know. It says secure remote support. Okay, and just below there is asking you to for the session key. Yes. So I'm providing you the session key which you need to enter there, okay? Okay. Me a minute. All right. Okay, the session key which we have to enter there is mm -hmm. three one two. Mm -hmm. Seven three two four. Seven three two four. I'm repeating once again. Just check it, okay? It's three one two seven three two four. Yeah, that's it. Then click on submit. Mm-hmm. And do I... After making a click on top, yeah? Do I, cl do I press click here to begin download? Yes, click on that click here option. Yeah, I just did that. Verifying application requirements, this may take a few moments. Okay, alright. That's what it said. And, uh, run. And, did it work? Oh, yeah, it worked. It worked. And it's, it's like there's this loading screen, and it's loading. Okay, all right. This is connecting to server. Bombgar support customer client. There's a question to view and control the computer. Do I press allow? 
Okay, there we go. Now you will have yeah, now you will have one more option of yes on your screen. You need to click on that. Um yes. There. Yeah. Uh it will ask you once again to click on yes to get verify again. Click on yes. Connecting to server, it says. Yeah. There we no, go. Yeah, then to 15 seconds, so we will get connected job. Okay. Okay. Oh, right, there we go. And you can see that uh, my computer is moving on your computer screen. I see that. So this is what you have got successfully connected your computer with the server. Okay. Mm-hmm. I really appreciate your time and patience for that and uh, as you told me that you were facing a problem on your computer when you were on something, right, downloading? Uh, so, like, may you know that, uh, like, you're the single user of this computer or do anybody in your family use the same computer? I'm the single user of this computer. And mostly for what purpose you use this computer, for your work purpose or for your... I'm sorry? Like for what purpose you use this computer? For your work purpose, for your personal use, or for just for a random check? Personal use. Okay, alright. No problem. Uh, just allow me the next one minute so that I can exactly check what are the problems you're having on your computer, okay? And what kind of job do you perform on this computer? What kind of job do Being I perform? online games. Oh yeah, I play games, yes, I do. Okay. And like, how often do you provide a security for your computer? How often do I provide security for it? So you haven't installed any security on your computer? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, let me know if you don't mind that how old is your computer. How old is it? It's about uh, three years old. Last long three years, you haven't put any security on your computer? Um, no, I haven't. And then, have you placed your computer on any kind of maintenance or checkup? Um, no. And if there is any kind of infection or junk file, so how you make uh, clean them from your computer? Because this is a machine uh, at the end of the day. If you visit the number of online websites, play online games, or download something on this computer, there might be chances that it has been affecting by some kind of infection. So, to keep your computer clean from those kind of things, you need to have a proper checkup and a maintenance or a security so that your computer could remain protected and your identity could remain protected, right? Um, yeah, I guess. Same way, if you have any car for yourself or a bike, you have to provide a service to your car too, so that the car which you're running be in a smooth condition, right? The same goes with your computer. If you do not have any proper checkup or maintenance, then your computer might not perform. And if you told me that from last three years there was no regular checkup or no maintenance, there might be a chance that your computer has been infected with some infection. Here I'm just checking some of the details that is the software which helps your computer to run. Right? Right. And if we check here, we can see that many of the softwares on your computer are getting stopped. If you have a look here, which I'm highlighting, you can see that this much number of your applications are getting stopped. Right? Yeah. If I scroll down till more and we can see that many more files are not working on your computer. Yeah, I, I see. This means, yeah, this means due to no security on your computer, your computer was completely affected with a number of infections which leads to stop this software on your computer. Right? Yeah. yeah, I see that. And, and as you perform an online activities on your computer, it is affecting your computer more. And 
today your computer was such a highly infected that's why you have that pop up on your screen regarding the alert regarding some virus or infection. If I check that from how long you're having this error since morning on your computer, we can check that in the history of your computer. Okay, this is a long list of minutes that we can have a look on that. That from how long you was facing that infected part of the your computer. So this is where you can check the history of your computer, okay? Mm-hmm. You can see on your computer screen chart that from how long you were facing this problem. Can you see like each single day whenever you were visiting online to sort something or to go ahead with any of your social sites or to play games or whatever. You can see that you were having a single error in the warning regarding that. And even at some point it was showing that your computer browser is going critical. Can you see this? I can see it, yeah. Yeah, and if I scroll down very end, you can see many more which kind of critical warnings. And it can be checked in the other Windows panel. You can even check in the security part in the applications also if other applications are getting infected or not. Here you can see that many more of those getting infected regarding each and every day with the different, different sources. Like same goes with the security part. You can see in the security also like 352 issues are running. The system, if we check, seems like 1007 issues are running. So this was what the main reason why you were facing that problem on your computer because the infection is going to high on your computer. Your computer is not protected with any kind of security. Let me go ahead and check on your computer either what kind of security is going on or not, okay? So I'm just checking on your computer. And if I'm correct, you're having a Windows 7 Home Premium, right? Um, yeah, that's correct. Right, well, you know what? I know you're a scammer, and I know you're doing this as all bullshit, so I'm going to put this on YouTube and show it to the world. So, goodbye.